Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Milligan. I'm here with Dr. Mark Cannon, a pediatric dentist in Chicago, also with the hospitals there. And we're going to talk about your kids, and it's very important information for the dental health, but also the overall health of your children. Mark, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I've greatly enjoyed this meeting and for our little discussion here. As you mentioned, I'm, I'm in full-time private practice uh, up in Long Grove, Illinois, but I'm also a professor at the medical school, the Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago, and an attending at Ann and Robert Laurie Children's Hospital. To make a long story short, I've always been involved in education and research. Uh, since the very first moment I was recruited into pediatric dentistry, a long time ago, but we won't go into how long. So oral health is directly related to systemic health, but even more so in our young. Right. And like we were talking about before, we like to actually start oral care prenatally by working with the mother who is expecting and showing her the many things that can be done to encourage not just her own good oral health and systemic health, but also the health of her baby and to ensure that the baby actually has a normal delivery because quite frankly, you know, there's a very strong relationship between periodontal disease in women and of course miscarriages. But 83% of the bacteria that come from that mom end up in the child. I mean, the child gets 83% of the bacteria, their microflora, from the mother. And the mother delivers a lot of these bacteria even before birth. And one of the things that we have discussed is the fact there is something called maternal imprinting, where uh, a mother, while she's carrying her baby, her blood cells pick up bacteria and actually keep these bacteria alive within the blood cell through her system and then delivers the, these bacteria, these viable bacteria, along with a lot of DNA information, to the developing baby, to the fetus, and it goes through the placenta. That's why when the baby is born, they have meconium, is because in, there used to be this thought that amniotic fluid was sterile. It's not. It's loaded with bacteria. And what you're doing is called maternal imprinting. The same thing is with breastfeeding. As soon as the baby is born, they're breastfed. Um, we've, we've talked a lot at this meeting about the importance of, of breastfeeding and normal, normal respiration because that allows the baby to develop a normal immune system. Now, what has happened, unfortunately, is we've created aberrations. Right. We've disturbed all this. Right. And by disturbing this development, we've created allergies, an epidemic of allergies, as you, everyone has heard in the press, because we have suppressed certain immunologically kind bacteria. Mm -hmm. And now we have allergies, we have eczema, we have asthma. We have many other diseases that are because of changes in the gut microbiome and in changes in, in, in our children. What um, have we done to cause these things? Well, a lot of it has to go back to oral health and diet and unfortunately Western diet. Mm -hmm. Western diet has changed the type of bacteria you have in your gut, leading to autoimmune disorder, including obesity in children. There is definite proof that obesity in kids is related, in adults too, age-related obesity, to an autoimmune reaction. You can actually create this in the lab in animal studies, and they've actually taken the immune cells from obese animals, rats, and place those immune cells into skinny rats and made the skinny rats fat. Wow. And they've done vice versa. There's great research on what bacteria are involved in this. And unfortunately, when you have a fast food diet, and one of the things we work with in our patients is telling them the importance of buy local, buy fresh. And I mentioned in the presentation today that my, I have five kids, mm -hmm. they've always eaten what I've eaten. They've eaten regular food. Yeah. They'll eat regular food. They'd be six months old, they're eating Indian food at an Indian restaurant. They've learned to eat everything and love everything. And that's 
part of what we do. We do a lot of education. You know, dentistry is about education, isn't it? It is, absolutely. It's, it's always been, a, you've been a very, prevention, education. education. prevention, wellness. Wellness, and you've been very much at the forefront of that. And, and we reach out to our parents constantly to educate them as to appropriate products, safe products to use with their kids. Like, uh, we have our young kids using a xylitol-based toothpaste like Spry. Right. Safe to swallow, they don't have to worry about swallowing excess fluoride at a young age. There are so many things we have to be aware of as a parent. And, and again, like you, you, you've been so much uh, teaching everyone, it's the education component of it, getting people in, doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Early exams, early exams, you gotta see the kids when they're one years of age. We do that one year checkup, but the one year checkup isn't just looking in the mouth, it's talking to the parent, and having the parent understand what's important for oral hygiene, and how that oral hygiene can affect the whole body. Right. Right. So give us, uh, say, maybe three or five things that you definitely do want to do and three or five things that you definitely don't want to do. Just as some examples. Well, when we look, like we have a baby come in for a one-year checkup, we talk to the parent, we talk to the mother because there's a direct correlation between mother's oral health and the oral health of her kids. Mm -hmm. We look at the family history. We talked about the whole family, about who has what in the family, what they've done so far. We really strive hard to look for things like swallowing patterns, airway patterns, because airway is so important in young kids for their brain development. Cannot stress that enough. There's been great studies on airway and how a lot of the problems we have with kids with ADHD and ADD is related to airway. A lot of good research on that. And then of course we do a lot of stuff with teaching them about proper oral hygiene because if you look at the average two-year-old, they already have bacteria in their mouth that produces severe gum disease. They are carriers already. By age six, their mouth is loaded. And by the way, most teenagers already have periodontal disease. There have been great studies showing gum issues and bone loss in teenagers. So when you start looking at these people who are all of a sudden say, well, I got gum disease out of nowhere, that's not true. It's been there for a while. So we approach it with proper oral hygiene instructions, of course, basic, that's very basic, but going on to proper adjuncts for care, probiotics. There's a lot of very healthy bacteria that actually prevent disease. In fact, Ilish Mishnikov back in 1907 said it, first, said it first and best. He said, there is this erroneous belief that microbes are harmful. This is wrong, many are very beneficial. And that's in 1907, so here over 100 years later, we're still learning the issue, or still learning our lesson about the importance of healthy bacteria. Fabulous. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to, to tell our patients out there before we close? Well, the main thing is getting in to see someone and, and making sure that person is comfortable treating children. There's uh, people who just don't like to treat kids. Fine. That's perfectly fine. No one should be made to do anything they don't like to do. You want to find someone who's really very up to date, who's been staying very current with the latest in technologies, the latest in modalities, who really understands all the important adjuncts that we can use. There's so many wonderful ways of preventing disease. Right. Where can we get more information online? Well, Ashley, um, Online, I, I have a website coming up okay. with all the references Great. and lectures on it. What is it? And it's marklcannonddsms.com. So that's M-A-R-K-L-C-A-N-N-O-N-D-D-S-M-S.com. It was really designed for other dentists, mm -hmm. but you know, anyone's welcome to look, of course. Mark, thank you so much you for being bet. with us.